Hi everyone, this is a friend from Yolo Live. Today I'm gonna show you how to set an SRT source from OBS to Yolo Box Ultra. Before we proceed, it's important to know that this feature is currently only available for the Ultra. By the way, the Ultra system only supports playback from a single SRT source, and a single SRT source cannot be played at the same time on multiple uh, Ultra units. Well, finding the SRT input URL box seems to be a breeze. From the display screen, you can see the Add Video Source option in the bottom left corner. After selecting it, there are various choices of video sources available on the left side of the page. The input port for the SRT video source is located at the bottom left of the page. And now the box requires us to type the SRT input URL in this format. So how do we find the IP address and the port? Compared to finding the IP address, many people may find searching for ports more confusing. Actually, in practical terms, there isn't really a concept of searching for ports. What I mean is that you can input any value, preferably a large one, such as 8888 or 22222. <laughs> Considering different operating systems have different methods for finding the IP address, I will separately introduce us the methods for finding the IP address on Windows, Macs, and Linux. In the Windows 10 systems, first you need to open the command prompt. You can achieve this by pressing the Windows key and R, and then entering the command into the run dialog or by typing command prompt into the search bar in the bottom left corner of the main interface and then clicking the command prompt icon. In the command prompt, type IP config and press enter to find your IPv4 address. For example, it might be 192.168.30.1. Now let's move to the Mac OS system. There is a Wi-Fi icon in the top right corner of the interface. By clicking the Wi-Fi icon, you can access the Wi-Fi settings. In order to see the IP address, you need to click on Advanced and then navigate the TCP slash IP tab. Here, you can find your IP address. If you are using Linux, you can easily find your IP address using some simple desktop uh, utilities. First, go to your activity screen and type network. If you are using a wired connection or Wi-Fi, in the network setting window, click the gear icon next to the network you are connected to. Your IP address will be listed in the network profile. Before setting up SRT sources, you need to download OBS by searching for OBS official website and then add a media source in OBS. So we want to send this to the outro here. Now I just go to the settings and the stream, change it into the service custom, and then enter the server URL in this format. For instance, my IP address is 192.168.30.207. I need to input an SRT URL like this. Then click the Confirm button. Now let's turn back to the screen of my outro. Enter the SRT input URL. For me, it's this URL. To wrap up, remember to start streaming in OBS before pressing the down button on the box. In the SRT URL which I entered in OBS, what do these alpha numeric characters mean? Well, that means OBS accepts the options in the syntax. The key thing to remember here is the latency setting, measured in microseconds. By default, it's set to 120 milliseconds. It's recommended that the value should be at least 2.5 times the round trip time between the encoder 
and inject server, measure the in milliseconds. Mode is another sometimes required option, which can be a caller, listener, or rendezvous. Caller opens a client connection. Listener starts a server to listen for incoming connections. Rendezvous uses rendezvous connections mode, which is a bidirectional link where the first initiate a handshake is considered the caller. For both Ultra and OBS, the default value is caller, and this is a case where it's useful to set a mode to listener when sending a stream to Ultra. OBS Studio then acts as a server to Ultra, which is the client. Everything we've covered so far is based on using SRT with OBS and Ultra. You need to ensure that your computer and Ultra are connected to the same network. This means that if your computer is connected to the home network, while the Ultra is connected to a mobile hotspot, SRT transmission won't be successful. And we are attempting SRT connection in a mobile network environment using a public IP address. If you had similar experiences, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section sharing your experiences and any challenges you encountered. If you find this useful, please click a thumbs up. And if you haven't joined our user group, please visit YOLO Live user group on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'll see you in the next one.